The first thing to note here is that this equation has a real solution only when the base of the logarithm is positive, which means that cos x should be positive for the first term to be real and sin x should be positive for the second term on the left hand side to be real. This is possible only when x lies in the first quadrant or x lies between 0 and pi upon 2. Now recall a property of logarithms. Log of a to the base b multiplied by log of b to the base c is equal to log of a to the base c. Now replace a with sin x, b with cos x and c with sin x. Therefore we get log of sin x to the base cos x multiplied by log of cos x to the base sin x is equal to log of sin x to the base sin x which is equal to 1. It therefore follows that log of sin x to the base cos x is equal to 1 upon log of cos x to the base sin x. Let's assume that this is equal to z. Now we go back to the given equation which is log of sin x to the base cos x plus log of cos x to the base sin x is equal to 2. Replacing log of sin x to the base cos x with z and log of cos x to the base sin x with 1 upon z as derived above this equation becomes z plus 1 upon z is equal to 2. This can be rearranged as z square minus 2z plus 1 is equal to 0 or z minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 which implies that z is equal to 1 or log of sin x to the base cos x is equal to 1. Using properties of logarithms this implies that sin x is equal to cos x or tan x is equal to 1 and the only solution of this equation in the range 0 to pi upon 2 is x is equal to pi upon 4 which is the required answer.